Hello everyone, Professor Van Krupp is here and welcome back to another Forestern episode. Today is episode 38 and in today's episode, I'm gonna show to all of you this 3x3 cave piston door right in front of me. So without further ado, let's get right into the episode. As usual, the episode will be split into two parts. The first part will be the rest of explanation, and the second part will be the uh, tutorial for the rest of contraption. So stay tuned for that. The first part will begin right now. So here we are, the rest of explanation part. Let's get to it. First of all, this tribute cave piston door is not like other 3 by 3 cave piston door that you seeing um, on YouTube and like other social media where you can share videos in this piston door yeah is quite special and still until now I haven't seen anyone uh, done this but what is so special about this piston door well a lot of 3 by 3 cave piston door in general um, um, has one small problem and that is in the back of the piston door you see um, the traditional 3 by 3 cave piston door will in order to move this middle block uh, there will be a double piston extender right over here and you are gonna push this block up and also pull it down into the floor level but that is yeah that's a problem because first of all it's not seamless because there is a piston head we're gonna pop up and well uh, ruin the aesthetic of the back of the uh, piston door so in order to hide that piston head people tends to yeah replicate uh, this uh, front of the um, piston door of the cave piston door and then put it to the back of the uh, yeah the piston door in order to hide that piston head but f yeah the, well, first of all hiding that is uh, make uh, will result in the piston door being bigger I already have a uh, yeah a piston door I keep two by two cave piston door on my channel and uh, um, in order to hide that piston head um, I need to replicate this uh, front of the piston door and put it in the back and yeah uh, that's why and uh, yeah that piston door is uh, five blocks wide um, but it is also very fast so if you want to check out that 3x3 three three, uh, voto slash cave door then I'm gonna link it down in the description or you can uh, just yeah search it up and uh, yeah in my youtube channel anyway uh, let's say you are one of the few people that want to see the back of the piston door without the piston head well if you are those yeah people that um, wanted to do that then this piston door is for you as you can see when I go into the back there's no exposed piston head as you can see the block here is just floating and um, as you can see the back of the 3x3 three three volt slash cave door looks very cool in my opinion as you can see and it works on both sides like so and when I go back to here let me flip that again as you can see when I yeah when it opens in the back as you can see it looks marvelous so yeah you might be wondering how how the, how could I uh, hide the tree but yeah the piston head well it's very simple and I will gonna show you right now so in my hand here I have a lever and now I'm gonna show you the yeah the piston sequence that makes that magic all right so first uh, this is currently in the uh, yeah 
opening stage so now we will close the piston door first of all the yeah these three pistons sticky piston of course we're gonna push up these three blocks and then this will push in this will push in these three will push in now it is the interesting part as you can see this yeah this piston door block needs to go up here but the double piston extender is over here so if i just do a normal double piston extender like that then it will not gonna be enough to push the block to here so what i do is i first push this sticky piston like so and this is the floor block next up I activate the double piston extender extend this piston and then retract it and then again retract that piston and as you can see the block is now over there completing the piston door for the openings is similar we retract these three uh, yeah these four um, levers like so and then this is the interesting part because in order to um, yeah uh, pull up yeah to pull this block down into the floor what I do is I activate this double piston extender and then retract it like so and in the meantime I will gonna activate this piston yeah this piston I'm gonna retract that activate the double piston extender like so and everything is flush with the floor and that is the whole piston sequence and all of these yeah all of this redstone is doing its job yeah doing the exact thing that i said just a moment ago and unfortunately i have to use an obsidian here yeah an unmovable object because well, this piston activates a lot of time and if the piston this piston is in this stage without this obsidian this piston can push and break yeah and break the whole system so that is why I need to uh, have an up yeah an uh, immovable object right there is uh, I don't like using immovable object in piston door but this is uh the yeah this is the case that i have to use it and as you can see all of the redstone is nicely fit in the piston layout um if you can improve upon the uh, piston door then feel free to do so because this piston layout is yeah i think this is the most optimized piston layout that you can do so this is the smallest possible but it's not the fastest possible so if you can make a faster version then then congratulations anyways now let's get into the tutorial because i think you guys want that yeah to impress your friend let's get to it all right it is tutorial time now let's get to it first of all you need to uh yeah clear out an area a three blocks wide area three blocks wide seven blocks long like so and ten blocks high this time i have done the math correctly so don't worry next off you need to prepare all of these items like so uh, just yeah take a screenshot okay now let's get all of that in my inventory i think some have fallen into no okay first of all place a sticky piston right over here with another sticky piston like that with another block like so place a lever activate it at that place a redstone block over there go out two blocks place a block right there a target block and a sticky piston with a redstone block on top and that is your first layer complete onto the next layer 
the second layer is a lot more complicated so bear with me first of all place a sticky piston like so then get your absorber out place an absorber like that with a block right here um, next off place a sticky piston like so then get your normal piston out place it downward like this and get your redstone torch out place one over here and one over here now get your observer out place one over there with a repeater set it onto voltage so repeater right over here set it onto voltage with a piston like so and another observer right here and another uh, with another um, sticky piston over here and another absorber over here sorry about that you need another sticky piston over there and another absorber right here and now your second layer is complete okay for the third layer you what what you want to do is place a block there three sticky piston like so rest and touch here rest and touch over here get your rest and dust out place it like so don't worry about that it is all fine now let's get your rest and lamps out place it here with another absorber like so and a an movable object it could be yeah it can be anything i use here crying obsidian and get your yeah sticky piston like so with a block here and get your frame blocks out and place one over there and that is your third layer complete okay for the next layer is very simple all you have to do is get your iron blocks out or the blocks that you want to make the piston door and place in a t-shape like so and then remove the middle like so as you can see like that and then place block on top of all of the rest stone like so except for this line and you will have something like this and then place rest stone touch over here and over here and that is just yeah layer complete let's get into the next layer for the next layer what you're going to do is place two blocks here like that and frame blocks like so and yeah very simple let's get to the next for the next layer what you want to do is place two redstone dust here get your sticky piston out and your redstone blocks out oh wait uh your sticky piston place it like that and like that your iron blocks sorry about that and frame blocks like so and that is that yeah your layer complete let's get to the next layer for the next layer what you want to do is place two resin touch here and frame on top and you're done let's get to the next for the next one place two blocks like so if i can place it like so and place rest on touch here frame block like so and leave it out like that and place oh three iron blocks over there three of your piston blocks over there like so and place another frame block like that and you're done for the next layer what you want to do is place two um concrete blocks like so and another rest and dust like that another rest and dust here a uh, sticky piston like so facing into the uh, yeah the piston block and let me like that oh uh, yeah that's complete and uh, place a target block over here with another normal piston place it like so and uh, another redstone touch over here with an absorber like so 
and a um, yeah a sticky piston over here and a repeater with no delay over here with a block on top oh we have block right there and yeah you are done the yeah, next layer what you're going to do is place a piston over here block here here rest and torch another sticky piston so right over here like so facing downward of course and another absorber with a rest and torch on top a block here to separate these two line of redstone and yeah that is basically it you are done with your 3x3 cave piston door and now all you have to do left is place in about these two yeah i forgot about the trident so place your trident in first and then activate the door but don't worry you, uh, yeah it's not gonna break anything you can flick the lever again and the whole thing should work like so a beautiful t by t cave slash vault door for you and don't worry about someone trying to uh, yeah break the piston door by flicking the lever super quickly yes it will break but with just a flick of a lever you will fix it so let me recreate that um okay still not let us wait for it all right so here yeah as you can see the piston door is now broken but with just a flick of a switch you can fix it again so don't worry about this piston door breaking all the time i've tested it intensely and it never breaks so yeah a 3x3 cave piston door for all of you i hope you guys enjoyed today's episode if you did then please you to make yeah to uh, like the video so i know you are enjoying the content if you want to see more then consider subscribing for more contents like this i will be improving my contents over time so if you want to see more make sure to subscribe that's it for today thank you for watching and i will see you guys in the next episode of fun redstone goodbye